Hello kids, Mr. Lun here. It's time for story time. And as you might notice, I'm wearing a tie because it is Tie Tuesday after all. And this very fun hat, very jaunty. Good word, jaunty, look it up. Today we have a little house birthday. So this is my birthday hat. Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. Laura lived in the little house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her little sister Carrie, and their old, good old bulldog, Jack. The winter season seemed long, and Laura and Mary began to be tired of staying always in the house. Especially on Sundays, the time went so slowly. Every Saturday night, Pa filled the wash tub with fresh snow and put the wash tub on the cook stove. Soon the snow melted to water, and it was time for Laura and Mary to take their baths. Laura took her bath first, because she was littler than Mary. Then Mary had her bath, and then Ma had her bath, and then Pa had his. Now they were all clean for Sunday, and on Sunday mornings, Laura and Mary dressed in their best clothes with fresh ribbons in their hair. On Sundays, they could not run or shout or be noisy. They must sit quietly and listen while Ma read stories to them. They might look at pictures and they might hold their rag dolls nicely and talk to them, but there was nothing else they could do. One Sunday, Laura could not bear it any longer and she began to play with Jack and run and shout. Pa told her to sit in her chair and be quiet and Laura began to cry. So Pa took her on his knee and cuddled her and told her a story. Soon that long Sunday was almost over and Laura lay in her trundle bed with Mary listening to Pa sing Sunday hymns with the fiddle. The next sound she heard was Ma by the stove making breakfast. It was Monday and Sunday would not come again for a whole week. That morning, when Pa came in to breakfast, he caught Laura and explained that today was her birthday. Laura was five years old. Pa gave Laura a little wooden man he had whittled out of a stick to be company for her rag doll, Charlotte. Ma gave her five little cakes, one for each year. Mary gave her a new dress for Charlotte. Mary made the dress herself when Laura thought she was sewing on her patchwork quilt. That night for a special treat, Pa played Pop Goes the Weasel on his fiddle for Laura. Now watch, he said. Watch and maybe you can see the weasel pop out this time. Then he sang, All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought twas all in fun. Pop goes the weasel. A penny for a spool of thread, a penny for a needle. That's the way the money goes. Goes the weasel. But Laura and Mary hadn't seen Pa's finger make the st string pop. Oh, please, please do it again, they begged him. Pa's blue eyes laughed, and the fiddle went on while he sang, but he was so quick, they could never catch him. So 
So they went laughing to bed and lay listening to Paul and the fiddle singing. It had been a happy birthday in a little house in the big woods. The end. Now, of course, we're gonna have some questions. Let me put this on my tree. A little house birthday. Number one, what was the house made of? Number two, what day did they have their weekly bath? Number three, what is a trundle bed? You might have to use Google for this. Number four, how old was Laura? Number five, what did Mary make for Laura? Number six, what was the name of the song? And number seven, do you think the girls had their own bedroom? Hi. <laughs> did you bring me a birthday gift? Yeah. It's not even my birthday. Yeah. Oh, it's for Laura. Yeah, it's for Laura. Oh, okay. I don't even know who she is. Thanks. It's, it's just kind of there. Mason, why is the bag moving? I don't know. What? <laughs> Come closer so I can pick up my gift. Or Laura's gift. Oh. It's a little bunny. Mason gave Laura a little bunny. So this is Puffin. He's Mason's pet rabbit. Very soft. Thanks, Mason. On behalf yeah. of Laura. No animals were harmed during the making of this video.